All right, we are live. Mm -hmm. Hello, friends. Hello, 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 hello. And on live, I'm going to be getting on live with a new friend, Rebecca Johns. Is uh, We're going to co-host a time, and we're going to specifically talk about life after trauma. So if you are joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm waiting her to add me to this live. So when she does, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, I was invited by Rebecca Johns, so look her up. She's going to get here in just a second. She's going to send me an invitation, evidently, um, so we can do this live together. So come on in. I see tons of people joining. We're going to talk specifically today about life after trauma. And so Rebecca and I will uh, be on this live together to provide some perspective, some insight into masculine and feminine wounding and trauma and polarity and all of those things. So let's see. Looks like uh, waiting on her. So as we're waiting, uh, come on and let me know. Let me know where you're calling in from. Drop in. Where are you calling in from, friends? Where are you? We got tons and tons of people coming in. And uh, let me know where you're dropping in. Again, I'm David Lee, trauma-informed polarity coach, speaker, consultant, whatever I'll label that you want to put on. But uh, that you're joining, and I see tons of people joining. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know where you're dropping in from. And in the meantime, hello from Texas. Hello, hello, Stacy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to shout out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great subject. Greetings from Spain. Ah, uh, España. España. Yes. What part of Spain? What part of Spain? Madrid? Barcelona? Barcelona? Uh, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, we're going to talk about life after trauma. So, I again, I am awaiting my colleague and co-host today on this live, Rebecca Johns. She's going to invite me into a live broadcast. But as we're waiting for that, so thank you for your patience. Um, you look like the Bachelor host, Jesse. That is an incredible compliment. Thank you so much. Um, and I didn't even know that because I don't watch the show, but my partner, my future bride does. And I just happened to catch the end because I guess the, the, the final episode was this, this, this week. And um, I have been a fan of Jesse because um, he is a former quarterback uh, in the NFL and uh, college. And now he's an analyst. He's an incredible analyst. And I, I, I happen to think he's a, he's a good looking dude. <laughs> so thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Famous for the almonds. Okay, I love almonds. I love almonds. Hello, 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 hello. We're going to talk about life beyond trauma today. So, and while we're waiting, oh, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. While we're waiting, hi, hi, hi. Good to see you, good to see you. Let me know where you're dropping in from. Um, if you are a follower, fantastic. Let me know that. If you haven't followed, you're like, who's this dude? All right, let me know that too. But as you're dropping in here, let me know where you're coming from. Yes, I see hearts. I see hearts and thumbs up. Why we're waiting uh, to join Rebecca, I'm going to go ahead and field some questions. So if you've got questions, right quick. Um, it may get interrupted uh, because we're doing a co-hosting situation. But if you have some questions, hello, 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 Mary from South Africa. Very good. Johannesburg, yes. Charleston, South Carolina, yes. Texas, what part of Texas? Texas is a big country. Um, from Las Vegas, love it, love it, love it. Continue to let me know. Let me know where you're where you're calling in from. So if you've got questions, uh, hello, Miss America. <laughs> I love it. She says, I try to catch every single video. Glad to catch you live. And it's good to catch you live too. Um, which by the way, as I'm waiting for Rebecca to jump on here, um, we have, Paige and I have a very special live event coming this Monday, April 3rd from 7 to 8.30 Central here in the States, where we are going to feel we do this once a month, but you must register on the first Monday of every month. Paige and I get live on Zoom and field your questions and even provide, provide some hot seat coaching about relationships and intimacy and polarity and trauma healing and sex and communication and conflict and all the things, marriage and kids and everything through a trauma-informed polarity lens. So if you want to register for that event, which is coming this Monday, April 3rd, jump on my link and you can register for that. Let's see, let's see. I watch every video, love it. Thank you so much. She's from the DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth, Tyler, Texas. Oh, Oklahoma is the place I wanna be. I love, 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 love. Houston here, yes, Houston is hosting the final four very soon. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
Where else are you coming in from? Mm -hmm. Ooh, you caught alive. That's you did. You caught alive. So as I am waiting for Rebecca to jump on here, uh, let's field some questions. Do you have some questions right here, right now? Um, while we're waiting, she's going to invite me on to, and we're going to do a little bit of a co-host situation and talk about love beyond trauma. Love beyond trauma. Hmm, interesting. Life beyond trauma. So if you have a question about polarity, masculine and feminine energy, sex, intimacy, communication, marriage, what should I do if, what's going on, all those relationship questions that keep you up at night, uh -huh. I know you have them. I have them. <laughs> so what are those questions about masculine, feminine, polarity? Jump in here. Let me know if you've got some questions. Oklahoma here, guy. We've got some. We've got a couple people from Oklahoma. So let me know what questions do you have. Drop them in here. And if you're just if you're just stalking, that's cool too. Stalk and let me know where you're calling in from. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Uh, good question. Good question. You know, I am going to uh, answer that question. That's a great question. Um, so let's see. Is it Maggie? Maggie May. She says, "How do I boost my self confidence? How do you boost your self confidence?" If you know me, if you've been following me, if you've been following Paige and I through our trauma-informed polarity coaching, teaching, speaking, consulting, you'll know, and this may be new to you and that's cool, you may know that every single relationship complexity, every single relationship obstacle is due to unprocessed, unreleased trauma, period. It is. So how do we gain self-confidence? We heal our trauma, <laughs> right? Now, gaining self-confidence or a lack of self-confidence is a wounded feminine and wounded masculine energy, okay? In which needs healing. And the process in doing that is beginning to understand who you are. The more that you know who you are and doing that inner work, right? The more that you are going to boost and gain confidence in where you move to, how you navigate the world in your relationships. So there is a reason, and if we were working together in a coaching experience, I would ask you, and I'm gonna ask you this question here, is, Tell me more about a lack of self-confidence. Where does it show up? With who does it show up? How often does it show up? Okay. What, are, what is the evidence of a lack of self-confidence in your life? What is it? And you may drop it in here. Certainly. But certainly come to our event on April 3rd. So, uh, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, <laughs> new, just listening for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Please. Thank you. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here comes some questions. And I'm wondering where, I wonder what's going on. <laughs> That's okay. Um, hold on. Okay, here's a question. Um, how do older, confident women meet masculine men? It feels impossible. My question to you is how have you attempted to meet men? How have you attempted? Okay, who is this? Kate Teb Tebs, Teb 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 Teb, can't see the whole name. Um, but how are you attempting to meet men? Okay. Now, here's my answer to that. Stop trying to meet men. <laughs> okay. A grounded, polarized, confident, radiant, sexy woman who's in her femininity doesn't seek men. She doesn't seek men. Okay. She doesn't chase. She doesn't pursue. She doesn't claim. She doesn't follow. Okay. She doesn't go and find. He finds you. Okay. He finds you. So the answer here is one, begin to surrender into your femininity. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Begin to surrender into your healing feminine energy. The more that you are living in your feminine energy, the more that you will draw, not attract, but the more that a man will be drawn to you who is in his dominant, powerful, strong, masculine energy, okay? Remember, a strong, dominant, powerful, masculine energy is not attracted to confidence in the sense of masculine confidence in a woman. He will run the other way, okay? It doesn't mean that you're not grounded, okay? And be careful and be aware of the idea of ego. Be careful of that as well. All right, I am going to see if I can invite... Um, uh, let's see if I can invite Rebecca into this. Uh, guests, hosts. Oh, here we go. Um, go live together. Do, do, do. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> uh, keep those questions coming. I'm going to stay here. So, yeah, and I appreciate it. Sing to yourself, talk to yourself, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm going to try to... 
I see lots of people joining. It's good to see you. Toxic relationships. Fear, anxious attachment. Yes, um, I will address that in just a second. Thanks for being patient, y'all. Um, let's see. Let's see who I can. See if I can invite her. How do I do that? Maybe I can have some help from folks. Okay, trying to invite another expert in this field to this particular call. Because mm -hmm -hmm. I don't see her. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. Um, what's that do? No. Oh. Uh, no. We don't want to do that. What does that do? Nope. Nope. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. All right. I'm not sure what's going on and why I can't. Um, thank you so much. I, saw, I see your comment. Love your content. What do you love about it? I, we're always interested in feedback. Okay, we live by feedback because we want to be able to provide the content that folks are searching for. It's going to do the most healing. So I'm always asking about that. Um, what are we talking about? Yeah, exactly. We are talking about general questions. How do you do this? How do you do what? Amen to that. Yes. I love your content. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I am going to... Go ahead and stay here live for all of you. We were supposed to be in a tandem today with one of my colleagues, Rebecca Johns. And for whatever reason, she is not here or I'm not there, one of the two. So we're just going to keep going, okay? Thumbs up or hearts if you want me to keep going and answer questions about polarity, sex, intimacy, conflict, communication, masculine and feminine energy, how-tos and all that. Yes, hearts. Throw a thumbs up. And then if you throw a thumbs up and a heart, you've got to drop a question, okay? All right. All right, here we go. Uh, it's me time now. I love that. No more guys who needs, who needs to be fixed. I'm healed. Um, thank you so much user. <laughs> um, it is your time. Okay. It's everybody's time, regardless of if you're in a relationship or not. It is my time all the time. And I am in a co-creative, powerful, passionate, purposeful relationship with Paige Stewart. And it's always my time. Okay. So, and by the way, I get it. Nobody wants to be fixed, okay? A masculine man doesn't fix his feminine partner, okay? Doesn't, okay? That's, that's dominating behavior, not dominant. There's a difference. If you're curious on knowing the difference between those two, drop a comment, okay? And a wounded masculine man tries to control and fix and coddle and save the damsel in distress. That's not a masculine man, okay? And the last thing that I'll say, I'll provide some correction for you. Here's the correction in love, okay? You are not healed. You are healing. We all are on a pathway to healing, okay? We are never fully healed, okay? We work with men and women every single day, every single day, who are working diligently in our coaching programs, in our online programs, who are working every single day on their healing. And we tell them very upfront, you never are healed. You are on a journey of healing, and they navigate their woundings. I'm navigating my wounding. Paige is navigating her wounding. And sometimes there are things that come back that haven't fully been processed. We're like, oh my gosh, I thought I had this covered. I thought I was over this. Check, okay? Remember, healing is a feminine energetic, okay? Which means flow and fluidity, okay? It's not a check mark. You don't go and heal something and check it off, okay? When you do that, what comes back are the parts of us that haven't fully been processed and healed, okay? They come back and they trigger us again. We're like, what the hell? I thought this was healed, okay? It is a process. It is a lifelong process, okay? All right. Um, do, 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 do. Yes, uh, confidence, real confidence is knowing yourself and your worth. That's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Um, I have no desire to chase. I think men are great. I just show up. Smile and live. I love that. Take care of yourself. The greatest gift you will give to yourself and your children and your spouse and the world around you, ladies and gentlemen, is to take care of you first. Okay? All right. Amen. I dated a man with, B I don't know what BPT is, um, and it was very destabling. Taught us a lot. Taught me a lot. Yes. Yes. Um, one of our guidelines of engagement in our coaching practice is seek the lesson, not the loss. Everything is a lesson. Everyone is a teacher. Okay. I don't know what, but I'm, I'm going to speak to this pathologizing and diagnosing things. We don't do that. Okay. 
We believe there's no such thing as a diagnosis. We don't believe in letters. We don't believe in labels, okay? We believe everyone is wounded. They don't have a disorder. They don't have a pathology and they don't have a diagnosis, okay? They have traumatic wounding that is left unprocessed and unreleased from the nervous system, from the body, okay? It's not in your head. There's no such thing as mindfulness, okay? Trauma is trapped inside the body, not the head, Okay, got it? Cool? All right. Um, ba, 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 ba. We have other questions. Other questions, yes. I uh, love it. Bring the questions. Oh, and let me know where you're calling in from. By the way, I'm going to say this again. If you are interested in potentially being chosen for some hot seat coaching live with me and Paige, my partner, in our coaching practice, come and register this Monday night. It's this Monday night. Okay, you got to register for our live event. We do this monthly on the first Monday of every month from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Central here in the States where we jump on and first come, first serve. Folks will jump on here and ask questions just like this, but then they get a bonus of actually being coached one-on-one, or in our case, two-on-one. You get two coaches, um, providing you perspective and wisdom on your specific scenario. So if you're interested in that, if you want to gain some wisdom and perspective through a trauma-informed polarity lens. Come and join us on Monday night, April 3rd, this coming Monday. Register through my link, okay? All right, let's see. Uh, are there certain traumas that we learn to understand and live with? Um, the first thing I'll say is you don't live. You don't live with your trauma. You heal it, okay? It is a wounded masculine energy to say, oh, just fix it. Just get over it. Just bypass it. Time heals all wounds. Okay, that's all bullshit. Time doesn't heal wounds, ladies and gentlemen. Work heals wounds. Okay, you just don't get over it. Every, by the way, here's our definition of trauma. Any dysregulation of the nervous system that is immobilizing physically or emotionally. Okay, any falling off your bike is a trauma. Okay, PTS are, as we call it, post-traumatic stress response, not disorder. Okay, Everything that happens to the nervous system that is dysregulating and not allowed to move through the body and be released and processed in a healing way, and that's what we show our clients and take our clients through, is trauma. Being yelled at by your boss, that's trauma. Falling off your bike, that's trauma. Sexual assault, that's trauma. Trauma is trauma is trauma, and we all have it, every single one of us. We do not get over it, we do not bypass it, and we do not override it. Did I say override twice? No wonder why, okay? We don't yoga our trauma away. We don't Reiki our trauma away. We don't breath work our trauma away. We don't work out our trauma away, okay? Those are all beautiful modalities, somatic modalities that help the body prepare for healing. But yoga by itself does not heal your trauma, okay? We leverage a specific modality called internal family systems and others, polyvagal theory and some others, but primarily IFS, internal family systems, to help our clients connect to their traumatized parts that were traumatized generally between the ages of zero and 18. And we help them reestablish a relationship with those traumatized parts. That is the way to heal. Okay. Not going on long walks in the woods. That helps. <laughs> that helps stabilize the body. That helps regulate the nervous system, but it doesn't heal your trauma. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hi, guy seems fixated on his needs. I feel he may lack empathy. Could be a good guy, but not healed. Mm -hmm. So those of you who are in the dating space, throw a heart, throw a heart, throw a heart, throw a heart. Come on. Are you in the dating space? Are you dating right now? Are you in the dating space? Even if you're not in the dating space, you're like, screw men, screw women. Okay. Throw a heart up. Give me a thumbs up. Are you here? Are you paying attention? I'm going to give you a powerful piece of wisdom. Are you ready? Okay. In the dating space. When you begin to communicate and talk with somebody new, there's really only one question that supersedes any other question, okay? Stop doing the 20 questions. So what do you do? How many kids do you have? What's your purpose? Okay. Eh. okay. The most powerful question you will ever ask someone with whom you are interested or potentially interested in dating, relationship, the whole thing. Here's the question. You ready? How are you healing? your inner wounds and trauma. That's it. <laughs> it 
Everything else comes from that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want an elevated, aligned, powerful, grounded, mature, polarized relationship, can I get an amen? Anyone out there want that? I do, and I work hard every damn day to ensure that I have a connection with Paige Stewart, my partner, in order for that to be a reality. If that's what you want, ladies and gentlemen, stop with the 20 questions and stop wishing that someone was a little better. If you want to set a standard for who you want to be and therefore will draw a similar individual on this planet into your world to share life, okay, set the standard. You are worthy, every single one of you, every single one of you, <laughs> everyone is worthy of a 10 out of 10 in life. You are worthy of a 10 out of 10 in your purpose, in your career, in your relationship, in your marriage, everything. And settle for nothing less. It doesn't mean that you're going to be there. And I'm not talking about perfection. I'm talking about that you are making your trauma healing the priority. And if it's your priority, okay, if it's really, if it's not, that's cool. And you may have found this to be kind of bunk. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what this dude's talking about. That's cool. What I will say though, is it is the root to having the life of your dreams. Our mantra here in our coaching practice is in order to heal your trauma, you must love your trauma. And that's what we help our clients do is to begin to love and heal those past parts that are still traumatized, that are preventing you from having the relationship, the career and the purpose of your dreams. So anybody want that? So ask that question. Ask that question, and that may feel weird, like, oh my gosh, is that too much, too deep, too soon? I don't know, is your future worth it? Wouldn't you just rather cut to the chase? I know I would. And if somebody looks back at you across the table or over the phone or in text message and you're navigating whether or not this person is a viable option for a partner in the future, and they hear a question like, how are you, not are you, how are you? How are you healing your inner wounds and trauma? If they look back at you and go, exactly, okay. All right, if you're free to go deep, it's because there's alligators. <laughs> I like that. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, I made it my total focus for a couple of years and my whole life has changed. Yes, I love that. Thank you for the testimony. Uh, what should the appropriate response be to that question? The appropriate response would be whatever is feeling for you, whatever inner work that you're doing, which by the way, being aware of your trauma is just the first step. And we help our clients get there first. And most of the time they come to us, to be honest with you, they come to us and they are aware that there's blockages. They are aware that there's trauma. They are aware that there's something going on in their life that is preventing them from moving forward. But you've got to identify, and how do you do that? You begin to identify those physical somatic symptoms that keep coming back to you, okay? The upset stomach, the chest pains, the chronic pain, okay? The sweaty palms, the sweaty pits. When something occurs that you feel dysregulated, that is the traumatized part that's been unable to be, unpro to be processed through the body, through the nervous system, coming back and telling you that something still needs to be healed, okay? So you simply track Simply, not easily. But you begin to track when those occur and then connect them to whom or what you're feeling inside your body. Why am I triggered right now? Ask that question, okay? All right, I see an absolutely amen. I see a yep. Uh-huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. All right, love the questions coming in here. I was told today that I'm too sensitive and insecure. The relationship is done, but I'm emotional about it. Yes, welcome to your femininity. Okay, um, ladies, I'm going to speak to you for a moment. Get close to the camera. Drop a heart or a thumbs up if you want to hear this, ladies. Ladies, are there any ladies on the call? Any ladies? Any? Any? Anyone? Okay. Ladies, you are never too much and you are never not enough. Ever. And every single emotion, this goes for men too, okay? Every single emotion that comes up through your nervous system and out through your body, every single emotion that comes is absolutely true. I'm gonna let that sink in. Write that down. Absolutely true. Every emotion that you have coming forward is true. 
Okay, it's not false. It's simply what you feel. Now, what you do with that emotion, that's a whole other conversation. Okay? So if someone claims that you're over-emotional, someone claims that you're too much or that you're crazy, okay, you're not, okay, how you're displaying and how you're expressing that feminine fluidity, that's a whole other conversation too. But no, ladies, your emotions are never wrong. Gentlemen, your emotions are never wrong. Okay? But again, the feminine lives in her body. The masculine lives in his head. Okay? That's polarity. That's science. Okay? So the vast majority of the time, the feminine will be expressing through her emotions. And that's absolutely appropriate. Okay? So if someone tells you that you are too much, it's time, one, always, to be doing a self-audit with the relationship with yourself. Mm-hmm. What am I feeling? Do I feel dysregulated? Do I feel needy? Do I feel codependent? Do I feel like a people pleaser? Do I feel like I am, who am I without love? Am I longing for partnership? Do I do things out of obligation? Okay, so these are some of the primary feminine woundings. So if that's true, begin to track it. Okay, all right. Now that doesn't mean that he's right and you're wrong. Okay, but remember, and by the way, we work, I work specifically one-on-one -on -one with married couples or couples who are committed all the time, but we do not work together. I work with each of them as individuals, okay? And by the way, this goes for all the married people out there, all the dating people out there, do not go to couples counseling. It doesn't work, <laughs> okay? It doesn't, okay? It is not the best way. It's not the most effective and it's not the most efficient way in which to heal your trauma, okay? And by the way, you don't go and heal your relationship. You don't try to fix your marriage. There's no such thing. What is that? There's no such thing as a marriage. There's no such thing as a relationship. It's two interdependent souls who choose every single day, by the way, every single morning, they choose that day. That's healthy. And it forces you to do the work that day, okay? Stop relying on this till death do us part crap, okay? It takes it takes conscious decisions to not only say today I'm going to invest in my own healing and therefore I am receiving that from my partner. They're doing the same thing and that's a co-creative, grounded, powerful, aligned, polarized relationship. Okay? All right. Da, 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 let's move on. Not being victimized by it and thinking that it's addressing it is huge. Yes, absolutely. Um, your, your advice is point is on point. Thank you so much. Appreciate the feedback. Always, always, always keep following. I'm going to say it again because we have some folks who may be jumping on here live. Um, register for our live Zoom event this coming Monday, April 3rd. The registration link is on my TikTok. Also, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Instagram and Facebook and find us all over the place. Okay. Um, but register for our June, June, wow, April masterclass, okay? We're also going to do a little bit of teaching on this one. We typically just do Q&A and hot seat coaching, okay? We are actually going to bring some powerful content about boundaries and couples, okay? So if you're interested in getting that, we're going to teach for about 15 minutes of our 90-minute session this coming Monday, April 3rd. So jump on there live, but you got to register to get the link, okay? So jump into my bio link and register. So if you have powerful questions that you want to interact with David and Paige, then you got to register for that. Plus you're going to get some powerful content. It's absolutely complimentary. Come and learn about boundaries specifically relating to couples. Okay. So hope to see all of you there this coming Monday from 7, 8, 30. Yes. And I know it's the final four. Okay. I get it. Okay. Record it then turn off your phone so you don't get any spoilers. Okay. That's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> When we scheduled that, I didn't realize, right? I love, I, and I love sports right, in general. No excuses. You are worth more than a game. You are worth more than any other thing that's going to distract you from your own healing. So come and join us on Monday night. Okay, okay. Focus on yourself, yep. Um, does, he initial, uh, does he initiate always? Says it on the mood more often. Uh, I am in the mood more often. We talking about sex? We talking about SEX? Okay. It is the masculine partners, okay? It is the one who has the more dominant forward core masculine energy. And how you identify is how you identify. For me, I'm the one that has the more dominant core masculine energy. It is my responsibility to initiate sex with Paige Stewart, okay? 
Yep, it's my responsibility and I love it. He is to lead, he is to claim, he is to move, he is to initiate, he is to plan, he is to plot. That doesn't take away from his woman. Okay? He leads her, positions her, mm -hmm, pursues her, claims her. And here's something super incredibly important. He pleasures her first and throughout the experience. Okay? By the way, write this down. This is important for all of you that are interested in some sex education. Okay? The masculine man receives his pleasure from pleasuring his woman. Okay? Did you hear that? Ladies, stop settling for leftovers. Okay? You are to be pleasured. A masculine man gets his sexual PhD in his woman. He learns every curve, every spot, every crevice, every inch of her body because he listens and he pays attention to her body, to her voice, to her expressions of her emotions through I feel statements. And then he takes action. He penetrates her. He claims her. He leads her and he F-U-C-K's her. I don't know if I can say fuck on I mean, If I get banned, I get banned. Okay. A masculine man receives his sexual pleasure by pleasuring his woman. Okay. He doesn't put his pleasures first. Okay. He doesn't put his needs and wants first. Okay. Got it. Give me some hearts. Ladies, are you with it? Gentlemen who are watching, do you hear me? That is my convicting correction and direction from my masculine energy coming to you. You have got to lead your woman in the bedroom. You have got to lead your woman in the bedroom. Okay? Yeah. Mm hmm. LOL, that's so right. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting <laughs> all, the, all the ladies are like, mm hmm. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, hearts all over the place. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies, gentlemen, do not settle. That's the, one of the things that I can say. Absolutely do not settle for anything in your life. And by the way, the antidote to settling is healing your trauma. By the way, again, a masculine man will lead in the bedroom when he is healing his trauma. Everything to a, the most powerful, purposeful, passionate life goes through healing your trauma. There's just no other way around it. Okay, there's not. There's not. So, all right. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, let's see. Who else is here? Hey, Amen. Preach it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I will. And he would be gone if uh, I did not get this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, that doesn't leave, by the way, talking about the bedroom, that doesn't leave the feminine without course. Okay. So remember, the feminine primarily expresses her emotions, her desires, and her wants through I feel statements. Okay? I'll give you an example. One time in the middle of the day, middle of the day, it was like two in the afternoon, middle of the work day, I receive a text, a single text from Paige Stewart. And on that text message, it said, I feel aroused. Oh, hell yeah. That's all it said. I feel aroused, not I want to have sex. I want you. You're gorgeous. You're a stud. Come and fuck me. Nope. It simply said, I feel aroused. And then I received the message and I had a decision to make. I stop what I'm doing in the middle of my day. That's an option. And come home and take her. Or I respond by saying, that's amazing. I will be taking you by 8 p.m. tonight. Do you see what happened? Okay. I made a decision. And I told her when it was going to happen. I gave her some space and time because I love spontaneity. I don't necessarily believe in planning sex. I don't believe in that. Okay. I love spontaneity, which is feminine. But I will let Paige know, here I come. Okay. The point is, ladies, you have absolute autonomy over your desire. So if you're in the mood, if you are aroused, if you are turned on, leverage your I feel statements. Okay. Don't assume that your man knows, okay? Flirt, be arousing, be sensual, send pictures, send videos. This is all with consent and what you feel comfortable that draws in a masculine, it's flirtation. One of the most powerful elements 
of the feminine arousal is her ability to flirt and be sexy. Okay? We masculine dudes, we love that. And we will come and claim it. Okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, taking you. Yes. Yes. Uh, thank you for that. I knew I was in the wrong relationship and I left. Congratulations on choosing you. Which, by the way, every single relationship comes to an end, ladies and gentlemen. Every single one. Every single one. Either by choice or by death. Okay. It is not wrong to break up. It is not wrong to get a divorce. It is not wrong to end a relationship. It is not wrong to complete a relationship. Okay. It can provide freedom. It can provide a way in which to release back into who you are if you've lost yourself. Okay. All right. Uh, da, da. Let's see. Oh, uh, what should you expect when dating? <laughs> well, that's a general question. I need some more specificity with that question. What should you expect when dating? Uh, thank you. I'm not settling. Don't settle. Okay. And I'm going to uh, uh, promote again. Go and follow us on YouTube. All of our videos there. We have a playlist on our YouTube channel called Conversations with David and Paige, which I think you'll find incredibly entertaining and impactful with information and wit and fun. And you'll get to see us interact together. Um, if you're interested in working with us, if you want to know that information, you can click on the bio link, uh, page leads women through programs called surrender and feminine 101 to give you a first step into the healing process from the feminine side. I work with both men and women in a one-on-one -on -one coaching capacity. So if you're interested in working with us and finding all that information out, fantastic. Great. Go to my bio link and you can find all those links. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm going to stay on here for another five minutes. Should feminine women ask, what are we when dating or allow man to show us? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end our time with that question. It's a terrific question. All right. And drop some hearts, drop some thumbs up if this has been impactful, if this has been important, if this has been informative, if this has been fun and entertaining, I'll take that as well. Okay. So I'm going to finish with, ask, uh, with answering this question. And uh, then I hope to see you all this coming Monday night, April 3rd from 7 to 8.30. You got to register. Go through my link. Okay. Send some hearts. Send some love. Let me know that this is impactful. This is important. We're getting ready to jump off here. But uh, I want to know that these are valuable and we're going to continue to do those. So if you have found value in our conversation, one-sided conversation and answering your questions, fantastic. Keep following. Share us. Tell your friends about trauma-informed polarity healing. Okay. Because it will lead you to the purpose, to the career, to the life, and to the relationship of your dreams. I promise. Yep, I said that. I promise. <laughs> okay. You heal your shit, ladies and gentlemen. That's all, that's all I got to say. Okay. Love to see all the hearts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I want to get back to this question. Oh, where did it go? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So feminine women ask, what are we when dating or allow man to show us? Oh, such a good question. So remember, I'm going, to, I'm going to direct you. There's masculine, okay? Direction and correction. Remember, the masculine man leads, the masculine man gives, the feminine follows, the feminine receives. And she communicates primarily all, all her expressions and emotions to her masculine partner through I feel statements. So in this case, when you are in a relationship with someone and it's nebulous, it's like, what's going on? Where are we going? What are we? What should we call ourselves? Am I your boyfriend? Am I your girlfriend? Right? Is, this, is any of this raining? Is any of this coming? Hello? Hearts? Thumbs up? Is anything? Right? I'm going to speak specifically to the heterosexual women who identify as their core energy being feminine. That's who I'm talking to right now. Okay? It is absolutely normal and absolutely healthy for you to desire a direction in your relationship. Absolutely healthy. Okay. The feminine needs direction. The feminine needs consistency. The feminine needs decisiveness. The feminine needs a plan. Okay. That is not unhealthy. It is incredibly and powerfully healthy in a polarized relationship. So ladies, of course, it's absolutely normal, absolutely healthy. And I would direct you to want and desire to know where the hell the relationship is going. And you cannot manipulate it. You cannot nag it. You cannot hint. You cannot push the brochure across the table. Dropping hints is manipulative. 
Okay. That's a wounded feminine energy. And I get it. Cause you're like, uh, somebody's got to step up. If he ain't going to step up, somebody's got to step up. I get it. <laughs> it's, begin it's time to begin a relationship audit in that case. Ladies, if you find yourself making more decisions than your masculine partner, is this anybody? Okay. If you feel exhausted, overwhelmed, or burned out, okay, it's because you're in your wounded masculine energy too much. No wonder you're exhausted. Your body is not designed and crafted to lead, to facilitate, to decide. Okay. It doesn't mean you're weak. The feminine energy is incredibly powerful. Have you ever seen a typhoon? Have you ever seen a hurricane? Have you ever seen a tornado? Have you ever seen the ocean waves? Mm -hmm. That's fluidity. That's femininity. Okay. The way that you express what you desire is through I feel statements. Such as, I feel secure knowing where our relationship is going. Hmm? Did you get that? I feel honored knowing we have a purpose. We have a direction. We have a future. Did you hear that? I feel taken care of when I know where we're going. I feel prioritized when I know that you're making decisions about our future. You get me? I know this is hard. This is not easy, right? This stuff just comes off of my tongue because this is what I teach and coach, right? And this is what we teach and coach our clients every single day, okay? Is helping them identify with their language through a trauma-informed polarity lens. And it's imperative, the vast majority of your language when you're communicating to the masculine ladies is through I feel statements. It doesn't take your power away, okay? It doesn't take your autonomy away. It actually accentuates it. I'll give you a silly example and then I got to jump off. The other night I came into, I love it. People are subscribing to our YouTube channel. Love it, love it. It's all, I'm getting all these notifications. Go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to see what it's like, okay? Because we'll claim this, we own this. A very healthy, co-creative, purposeful, aligned, grounded, mature, polarized relationship. Go and watch David and Paige on our YouTube channel. And then come and see us on Monday night and register for our event. I'll give you the example. I'll finish with this. Um, the other night, Paige was in our bedroom. I was out in another room. I came, I opened the door to check on her. And we were bantering a little bit, a little bit of talk. And then she looked at me and this is what she said. She said, baby, I feel thirsty. Guess what the masculine did? Guess what action the masculine took? He went and he filled her glass of water. I love to give to Paige. She leveraged an I feel statement. I feel thirsty. It's the masculine's responsibility to, if he needs to, ask more questions for clarification after these I feel statements are made. Okay? It's not a guessing game. We're not, ladies, we can't read your mind. You have got to express your emotions, your feelings through I feel statements. Okay? Okay? If you're interested in more examples of this, come and join us this coming Monday. If you are ready potentially to find out about how to work with us, to really dive in, to really say, you know what, I'm putting a foot in the sand and I'm going to start working truly on me and want the desire and you have the desire and you want the leadership and you want the direction, you want the masculine container, right? In order to lead you down the pathway to true healing. Okay. This is for people who are serious. <laughs> okay. Then... Come and join us. Come and check us out. We have links in my bio link that tell us all about our programs. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I believe I'll be going live again this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday around 10 a.m. Central. So if you're interested, put it in your calendar and come and join. If you didn't get your question answered, come and join us and again this Monday, April 3rd. Come and register for our live 90-minute coaching event where Paige Stewart and I will be live on Zoom to answer your specific question and even provide you some hot seat direct coaching live. So if you're interested in that and if you're interested in knowing more about our programs and how we work with our clients to move them toward a trauma healing future, then come and join us on Monday night, okay? So thank you so much. Yes, I truly believe so. I followed it. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday and uh, keep following me 
follow Paige Stewart on TikTok and follow us on all the socials too. Go through the link and you'll find all that way to, uh, to follow us. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.